There we go. Let's talk about making the perfect tenon for a minute. When you use a chuck, this is a very handy tool for holding wood on the lathe. It mounts like this, these jaws go in and out, and they grab the wood really tightly so you can have all this hanging out here without a tailstock and you can do a lot of neat work. But making a tenon on this that will fit inside this chuck and hold very, very tightly and securely is a critical process and you don't want to mess it up. Um, if you look at the jaw, this is a larger jaw from the same chuck, you can see the dovetail shape, how it's narrow at the bottom and it goes wide at the top. You need to make a tenon that follows this profile exactly. Also see this flat part right here? I'm going to have to make a shoulder of the wood. I want the wood to go across this entire piece. I want to touch on the outside. If it's going to touch anywhere, touch on the outside, not on the inside because you have more strength on the wood. It will keep it from tipping sideways if it's out to the edge. If it's here, it has a chance that the wood might tip out. Uh, and you want that tenon to be the right angle so then it holds it even tighter, it pulls it in. Now there is a depth to this. We do not want the tenon to be so deep that it's going to hit the bottom of the chuck and that's a big problem because if it hits the bottom, you have no strength whatsoever. So how do you make that nice little shape? Well, a lot of turners will grab their bowl gouges and just come in here with the bowl gouge and cut in and make the shape. Well, the tough part about it is, is most bowl gouges have a slight curve to them. So you're not going to get a straight tenon. You're going to get that curve. Also, this tip is going to kind of get in the way and you're not going to be able to make the cut in that you need to be able to sit on the outside edge of the tenon. I know that sounds a little bit like Greek, but let me show you the tool I like to use and how I make my tenon. This is a badan. And a badan is a wonderful tool and you can make really neat stuff with it. Let me get this up here real quick. And I can't use it because it's so catchy for me. So what I did with my badan is you can see, I actually, let me hold it straight. You can see that angle right there? That angle matches up with the tenon right there. See how that works? So if I take this and come straight in on the wood, I'm going to make that tenon shape. So I back this up a little bit and I'm going to turn the lathe on. I have my tool rest at center height so I'm actually trailing this down a little bit and I'm going to take baby bites. See how that goes in like that? I'm going to come back out, do it again. And you can see I'm forming the perfect tenon. Now one thing is, is this might not have made it up perfectly to the jaws when I held it up and that's for a reason because now I want to take this in at an angle. I'm coming in like this so I make this outer edge down so it'll touch the outer edge of the chuck. So I come in like so and now it lets me reshape the tenon to the right shape. Now here you go. I'm holding another set of jaws up here and you can see I've got my dovetail right and that this edge, what I was talking about, this is hitting on the outside edge, it's not hitting in there. So I have a lot of stability that way. So we're going to take this, we're going to put it in the chuck, and if you notice the jaws are almost closed, that's because I took my calipers and measured the jaws just a little bit open and made sure that this tenon was that diameter. Because the more surface area you have of these jaws touching the wood, the stronger the hold. Now, as I tighten this, one cool thing happens, and you really can't see it, but because it's a dovetail, uh, the dovetail sucks the wood in and pulls it in this way. And this is a Vic Mark 120 chuck, and I've always been a fan of it because their jaws are dovetailed. And now we have a very, very tight hold that I can't knock or move that wood at all. It's a beautiful way of holding wood on your lathe, very safe and very efficient.